Okay, here we're going to find the vertices of the hyperbola. y minus 20 squared divided by 4 minus x plus 2 squared divided by 36 equals 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick out the center. So I see x plus 2 squared, but instead of positive 2, we use the opposite sign, or negative 2. And then we have y minus 20 squared. Instead of negative 20, we'll use positive 20. So I know that my center, again, you don't have to sketch this. You could just use some formulas, but I always like to think about it in terms of a graph. It helps me remember. So there I've got negative 2 comma 20. I'll put a little x there. That's where it's centered at. Since it's of the form y squared minus x squared equals 1, I know it's going to open upwards. I know my hyperbola is going to open upwards and downwards. So I'm looking for the vertices. Well, to get the vertices, what we do is, for our hyperbola, we look at the, the, the first term when we have it in standard form. Okay, so we've got y minus 20 squared divided by 4. If we take the square root of 4, we'll get 2, and that's going to be our a value. And that a value tells us from the center how far, how many units you move to get to the vertices. So in this case, since it opens upwards and downwards, I know from the center that I'm going to move up and down to get my vertices. And again, I just take the square root of that first term, the square root of the positive 4, which is 2, and that's going to give me my vertices. Okay, so... Since the x-coordinate doesn't change, that'll just remain negative 2. It was originally centered at negative 2, comma 20. So if we move up two units, we'll be at negative 2, comma 22. And if we move down, we'll be at negative 2, comma 18. And those will be our vertices.